So you're making a research poster and you want to find a good picture. This short video will help you figure out where to look. Given that your research symposium presentation will be made available online, it's important to make sure that you have the rights to reproduce any image that you might want to use. Many people believe that simply because they found an image on the internet, they can use it however they want, but this isn't at all true. Due to the way that US copyright law works, the only person who can grant you permission to use an image is the person who holds the rights to that image. For many images, using it on your poster would mean having to contact the person who owns the rights and asking for permission. This can be difficult to do. Instead, it's easier to simply use images that are available through the Creative Commons. This means that the person who owns the rights to the image has willingly made it available for anyone to use. Here are a few websites that you can use to easily find images that are in the Creative Commons. Firstly, you can simply go straight to the Creative Commons. Just type a search term into this search bar and you'll get a bunch of great open access results. Second, there's Unsplash. Unsplash is a great resource for beautiful high-res images. You can search through the tabs at the top or simply pop a term in the search bar and look for results that way. Third, there's the Wikimedia Commons. This is a great source for photos, but also for a wealth of other media. You can search by type here, which is especially useful if you want something like a map or an illustration. Finally, there's Google Images. This functions like any Google search, but you can use a filter to specify that you want images only in the Creative Commons. Once this is selected, the only things in the results will be Creative Commons images that you can use freely. Once you have your image, you just have to make sure it's cited correctly. Every style guide has their own way to cite images, so just make sure to find the correct way for the citation style you're using. You can find citation style guides in our catalog, or you can simply use our libguides. Thanks for watching!